Hello, my name is Luis Alvarado, and on this video we'll learn how we can edit widgets. Well, widgets, forms, labels, how you can understand how the BD sites build each page. So the first step, once you're in your backend, you either click here, this like red orange kind of button, visit website. You can also find that button here uh, in dashboard, visit website. Uh, and once you click on it, you actually turn yourself, you go to the to the front end of your site, but you actually turn yourself into what's called the admin mode. On admin mode, you actually have this sidebar here. Okay, if you actually click the, the sandwich, the hamburger, whatever you want to call it, uh, you see admin bar, website dashboard, go to the widget manager, et cetera, et cetera. There's several options here. The most used option is the show widgets, okay? Um, but I'm gonna show you each one. So basically, if we click on this one, we're actually taken to the to the manage my directory, okay? If we go to the to this one, go to the widget manager, we're taken to the manage my directory, but where the widgets are. Basically, the the elements, the containers that are used in all the pages to create the finishing product, which is the actual page. Um, if this is a static page, and you click on edit static page, you're taken to that specific page on your web page builder. Okay, so like if I'm the home page, like in this case, I'm taking here. Okay, and then I can edit stuff that I might find on that specific page. Um, then you got the show text labels, and then you can see the labels here wanted to change this one or find where to change it, you can just click the actual label here. Um, and then that would take you to a text label. Editing options here, you can edit that text. This happens a lot when people want to change specific um, label somewhere and they can't find that text anywhere. And then the most popular one for developers at least, uh, is the show widgets. I left that one as last because this one, when you click on it, the whole page turns into something else. It is very important to follow those lines, dash lines there, because they actually tell you which widgets are inside which other widgets, which widgets control which area on the page, um, and even shows you stuff like menus, which menus actually control specific areas forms, um, labels also, uh, sidebars, etc. Basically it tells you all these elements that you find in the toolbox. So you, it shows you the widgets, sidebars, menus, forms, and even the text labels that are on the settings. So if I wanted to change something here, typically you will go to that specific widget. Okay, and once you click on it, opens the, the back end, you can see which widget controls what, you customize that one. And if you can find the text here, which is in most cases, then you can change it here. Um, this is a bad example because this specific one is controlled through the settings, design settings. And then we go to um, home page. Uh, in the in the additional sections here you can find it here see about website join offer i edit that one and here's the text and it just so happens that there's some special widgets that are tied to the to the design settings okay but if i were to edit let's see if i were to edit uh this one for example and i want uh to show more members or less members or less rows or just uh, change how it behaves. Let's click there. I made it that one. Okay. Um, let's say that one, two, let me disable this. We don't want to show the location of the, of the member for some reason. So right now it says here, Oak Brook, Okay, Virginia Beach, um, San Francisco. Let me remove 
this so it there we go okay you can see the changes after you obviously remove or disable the the show widget so in the case that it doesn't kick in it still looks like the the old version you can refresh cache which is a typical thing that we do for certain widgets so on certain widgets you need to refresh cache in order for that to work but you can see that maybe you don't want to uh, show the address here okay uh, let me delete this one so you can see that once I've removed the custom widget then it shows as before So that's the way you can edit some widgets. Let's do another page. Let's go to the to the search results page. Okay, I want to edit something here. I click on the magnifying glass and then it shows us an additional one apart from the menu, the widgets, the labels, the sidebars, the forms, it shows the feature, the actual feature. Okay, so if I click on the feature, which is called uh, post settings, they call them post settings. I call them features. Basically, if you go here to edit post settings, all these are the features that you can offer your members. And we were basically editing the listing feature. And it's very important for you to know that all features are divided into uh, three sections, out of which they actually use two. Um, the, for the members, for the member section, which is the listing, they they use the search results page, okay? And that's it. I don't actually use a lot of things here. I mean, it's rare for you to edit this page, so typically you're editing this one, the, the search results, where the members actually show this one. Because when you go to the what's called the public profile of the member, like in here, this is controlled mostly by other widgets that are handled here, like the, the member header, the member overview. Uh, let me click the magnifying glass so you can see. Okay, so we got, um, here's the section. So you got the member, member profile header, member profile overview tab. Okay, it's just widgets, widgets, and more widgets inside other widgets. So a widget can call other widgets. Um, but for other features, for example, here in the articles, you have normally you have the search results page for them, similar as the listing. You can edit stuff there. And then you have the actual details page for them, which is a public post about an article, a photo album, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but again, that's how you would edit and find specific areas uh, to change using the show widgets option in the admin sidebar okay this is a quick solution even for menus so like if i click here it'll take me to that specific menu and you can start edit editing uh, the options in there okay and that's it very easy straightforward way of editing your site so think positive and thank you